Welcome everyone, I am Elder Geneva. Many people call me Mama G. I represent Lift Him Up Ministries and I'm always here to give words of encouragement. You can find me on Facebook Live every Saturday at 10 a.m. Please like, share, and subscribe. Good morning, good morning, everyone. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Come on in and join me this morning. Good morning. I am uh, Elder Geneva. Some people call me Mama G, but I'm always here to give words of encouragement. So come on in and join me. Hallelujah. Good morning, Sister Barbara. Good morning, Sister Deborah. Good morning. Thank you for joining me this morning. Thank the Lord. We give God praise this morning. Hallelujah. We thank him for another day. Hallelujah. Good morning, Nikita. Thank you for joining me. Okay, I'm going to have a word of prayer this morning. Join me. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you for this morning. I thank you for those that have joined, oh Lord. I pray, Lord, in the name of Jesus, that you would touch hearts this morning to receive. Touch ears to hear and hearts to receive in Jesus' name. So we thank you this morning. We thank you and we give you praise. We know that you said that, that your word would not return back unto you, Lord, but it would accomplish what it purposed to do. And so we thank you this morning that your word, your word, we thank you for your word in Jesus' name. Amen. So I've been talking about prayer change thing. That was my, uh, that's my topic. But this morning, uh, the subtopic is don't lose heart. Because, you know, sometimes when we're praying about a thing and it don't happen right then, you know, uh, we get discouraged. There was an old song, uh, it, it may be just a saying, because I don't know, it's, it, it says that. He may not come when you want him, but he's right on time. Good morning, Lydia. Thank you for joining me. And so, again, I, like I was saying, so you know, sometimes we pray and it don't happen right then. And it seems like it may get the thing that you're praying about. It may seem like it's getting worse. But don't lose heart. Don't lose heart. And so uh, my scripture is St. Luke chapter 18, verses 1 through 8. And I'm reading out of the New King James Version. And it talks about the parable of the persistent widow. Then he spake a, spoke a parable to them that men are always ought to pray and not lose heart, saying there was a certain city, a judge who did not fear God nor regard men. Now there was a widow in that city, and she came to him saying, Get justice for me from my adversary. And he would not for a while, but afterward he said within himself, Though I do not fear God nor regret regard man, yet because this widow troubles me, I will avenge her, lest by her continual coming she weary, weary me. Then the Lord said, Hear what the unjust said. And shall God not avenge his own elect to cry out day and night to him, though he bears long with them? I tell you that he will avenge them speedily. Nevertheless, when the Son of Man comes, will he really find faith on the earth? Amen. Father, we thank you for the reading and the hearing of your word. We got, give God praise this morning for his word. Thank you, Sister Meek, Sister Mary Edda, Sister Tiffany, for joining me this morning. And again, um, I'm, my topic is don't lose heart. My, my main topic is prayer change thing. But then, as I said, don't lose heart. As, as I was saying before, sometimes we pray for things and it don't happen right away. But don't lose heart. In other words, don't give up. Discouragement may come, but don't don't give up. Don't lose heart. Good morning, Pastor Brenda. Thank you for joining me. And so uh, Jesus, in this passage, Jesus tell his disciples a parable about their need to pray always and not to lose heart. It's a rather strange little story about a judge who ne neither he, he doesn't fear God and he doesn't have any respect for people. And a widowed woman who is desperate for justice, 
She pestered this jury so much that the jury finally just relent, gave up. Good morning, uh, Bishop Lewis. Thank you for joining me. Uh, and and um, so he finally gave up because the good morning, uh, Sister uh, Faria. Thank you for joining me. And, and so uh, he said, and will not God, Jesus, conclude, grant justice to his chosen one who cry to him day and night. See, God is no unjust judge. Our God loves this world too much to judge it. Our God loves this world so much that he gave his only son who came to not judge the world, but to save it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on, everyone. Grab your Bible, Sister Deborah, saying your cup of coffee if you drink coffee. So we join me for a minute. But this parable raises an obvious question. Why did Jesus tell it to his disciples? Didn't they already know to pray? Didn't they already know this? Didn't they already know that she, they should pray always? Hallelujah. In fact, weren't they already doing that? Apparently not. Because you don't tell someone to get go get more exercise if you if you know they already exercise. I know some people that exercise this lady be on her peloton all the time. So why would I tell her to get more ex exercise? And I know she already exercised. So Jesus, but he told this parable to his disciples to encourage them to pray always and to not to lose heart. Because even Jesus' disciples were not praying always. And even they uh, would occasionally grow discouraged. It happens to everyone. Great saints, it, it, it just happens. We all struggle sometimes. We all struggle with prayer. We all get discouraged in life. So what do we do about it? What does Jesus teach us? This is what I want to talk about today. So we don't lose heart. We pray always and don't lose heart. But to pray and always and lose heart. What does Jesus mean by that? Two things I believe that uh, he means by that is, first he means that these are connected. These are not two separate suggestions from Jesus. Praying always is connected to not losing heart. Why? Because when we give up on prayer, we lose heart. And when we lose heart, we often give up on prayer. So maybe this will be pressed better translated as pray always and so you that you don't lose heart. But what did Jesus mean by praying always? When I think of Jesus telling us to pray always, what, what I think that he means is not that we should pray every second of the day, but that we should not never give up on prayer. Don't give up on God. Don't give up on prayer, no matter how discouraging our life gets. No matter how long it seemed to take for God to answer our prayer. Hallelujah. We should never give up on God. Because I think this is what Jesus means when he, when he tells us to pray our ways. You know, and he wants us to pray our ways so we don't lose heart. So why, why don't we pray our way? Sometimes we get, you know, distracted. But, but before we get to, to, to how this is, let's think about some reason why we don't do it already. We all go through periods when we are not as active in our prayers as we know we should be. Why is that? Huh? I never had the TV up. <laughs> the, TV's, uh, the TV, yes. Why is it? Why do we not pray our ways? Why do we not pray as we know that we should? Let's think about three, three reasons. First, we all have times in our life when we give up on prayer or prayers go unanswered and we just quit. But I think we can all relate, uh, you know, re relate to this. Some, you know, we may have been praying for something and it seemed like it just wasn't going to happen or it didn't happen. And, and sometimes you just feel like giving up. But God want, wants us to pray our ways. Hallelujah. Even with, even if we believe that, you know, because if we get discouraged, it, it, it mess, you know, doubt come in and, and we, we just, we don't give up. Don't give up on God because he won't give up on us. He's able. He's able. Hallelujah. We do not give up on him. Hallelujah. Often we don't practice prioritize uh prayer sometimes doing sometimes we get get distracted you know 
You, we, we just, distractions come, but we have to pray. Pray always. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We thank God that we have the opportunity because he tells us to come before his throne. Come before uh, his throne boldly that we might obtain mercy. Hallelujah. So we can come to him. He wants us to come to him and, and, and tell him what's on our heart. Tell him what's on our mind. Hallelujah. He's always listening. He hears our prayers. But, you know, like I say, sometimes if it don't come right away, we, we in a hurry, we want instant microwave uh, answers to prayer. We, but we have to, sometimes we have to wait. Dub that like it was old song, uh, maybe a song. Uh, don't don't hurry, God. You just have to wait. You have to give him time, no matter how long it takes. Yeah, that that was the, that was that was it. So this is a, a poem I, I found. It said, "Air is uh, it says every day I want to speak with you, and every day something more important calls for my attention. The drugstore, the beauty shop, the the luggage, the, the folding clothes, the this, this, that. I need to buy for this trip. Even now, I can hardly sit here. Among the falling piles of paper and clothing, the garbage truck outside already screeching and banging. The mystics say you are as close as my own breath. Why do I flee from you? My days and nights. Pour through me like complaints and become a story I forget to tell you. I forgot to tell you. Help me even as I write these words. I am planning to rise from the chair as soon as I finish this system. Sentence. That's a poem I found from somewhere, this lady. Good morning, Elder Corn. Thank you for joining me. Uh, we have all been there, I suspect, intending to spend time in prayer, but as soon as we quiet ourselves, all of these distractions come up. Our minds become very noisy. Hallelujah. Every little sound interrupts us. And when there are no sounds, the silence is, is disrupted. And when we quiet down, we think of other things that, oh, I should have did this. Things that we forgot about. Things that are important. So we put our prayers. I'm not saying everybody do this. This is just, I'm just saying. And eventually we fall out of uh, the habit of praying. Praying. But there's one more reason why we don't pray that I want to mention today. Sometimes we fall out of the habit of prayer because there are no consequences of our not praying. We get into trouble and we don't show up for work. You know, that there, there's consequences, but it seems, seems like there's no consequences when we don't pray. When we when we miss school and we're late for school, those that are in school, we we you know, there are consequences. If we don't pay our bills or we don't pay our utility bills, there's consequences because they're going to turn it off. Or if we don't show up for jury duty, you know, they, they, you, there's consequences. <clears throat> but if we don't pray, nothing bad happens when we don't do it, right? So it becomes tempting to give up, to give up on it. Life is so busy these days. We are always looking for ways to make a little, make things a little easier, or to just get through the day and giving up doing something that no one even know about is very tempting. Tempting. Put prayer on your to do list, and when do you do it? After doing the laundry, paying the bills, and everything else, they're speaking loud, loud, telling you to do this. And the telephone ring, this and that. The noise of wheel get the grease as old as old saying gone. Goals and prayer is usually not a very noisy wheel, but we have to uh, don't lose heart when we we don't see the answer to what we have been praying about or what we are praying about. What happens when we don't pray? Hallelujah! But you know what what happens when we don't pray? According to Jesus, we lose heart, we get discouraged. Our souls need prayer. Without it, they shrivel up. Because what does it profit us if we gain the whole world but lose our souls? Hallelujah. We the, the Prayer nourishes our souls. Hallelujah. Good morning, Sister Carolyn. Good morning. Thank you for joining me. Our souls need care. And the best way to care for our souls is to pray. Spend time with God. Otherwise, we lose heart. We get discouraged. Life becomes too great of a burden to bear. Prayer is how we remind ourselves that God is with us, 
that he's involved in our life, in our world. Prayer help us to see God at work in our life. Hallelujah. Because God, he, he's faithful to fulfill his promise. If the promise might not come when you think it should or when you're looking for it, but he is faithful to fulfill his promise. Everything that he has promised us, he will do it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Good morning, Charis. Good morning. Thank you for joining me. Yes, yeah, so uh, we should pray. We should not, not give up, not faint. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because sometimes, you know, you 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 you're praying and 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 sometimes like your your uh, you know you you know God hear you but then again you know the enemy may come in and tell you oh God don't hear you this and that hallelujah but we must be joyful in prayer be, you know because the flesh and the devil always want to obstruct prayer hallelujah he always want to obstruct obstruct he don't want us to you know, believe God. That's the main thing. Hallelujah. And we can pray with scriptures. Hallelujah. We can pray a, 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 a scripture. You know, there's, there's always a, a way to pray. Hallelujah. I love the Lord for he heard my cry. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You, you, you're you telling him, you're worshiping him. I love you, Lord, because you heard my cry. Cry, you delivered me. Hallelujah. When I was going through a storm, storm and rain, you heard my cry and you delivered me. You blessed me. You kept me. You lift me up. Hallelujah. When I didn't know what to do, Lord. Ha, hallelujah. You heard, you heard my cry. You touched my heart. You told me, hallelujah, which way to go. You gave me up instruction. Hallelujah. So, Lord, I thank you, hallelujah, that you hear my prayer, hallelujah. I thank you, hallelujah, I give you praise, hallelujah. And, and if we don't pray with scripture, we, we just pray, we just pray and we can talk to him because there's no really, no wrong way to talk to God other than to not talk to him at all. So we should pray our way, different ways, hallelujah. Sometimes you're in your car, turn, you turn the radio off in the car. And, and pray. There's always let on your bed. Sometimes you you know some as we get all of these knees when you had surgery on these knees, you you can't get on those knees. But you can. I remember the time we used to, as I talked to uh, mother, I talked about Mother Kenny the other week. We used to me and Sister Carolyn and we would go to her house and we we would we would lay out on the floor. You know, just stretch out on the floor, but. <laughs> so, so it, you know, but sometimes you you can't do all those things like you used to do. But you can sit on your bed, sit in a chair, lean it, whichever way. But we can always pray. There's always a ways to pray. Hallelujah, Hallelujah. Because when the Son of Man come, Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Pray without ceasing, Bishop Lewis said. Yes, pray without ceasing. Because we praying in our hearts. We ain't got to just have a big, oh, thou this and that. You know, we just just pray. Just pray in your heart. Pray as you're doing this or doing that. As you as your daily, um, uh, you know, whatever you're doing daily. We 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 pray. Cause because uh it's when when the son of man Come, will he find faith on the earth? When Jesus returns, will he find people praying? People who have not given up on God. Hallelujah. So he will also have found people who have not grown weary and discouraged by life because they have continued to see God at work in this world. They have not given up on prayer. And we don't want to be among them, hallelujah, who have given up on prayer. Hallelujah. Because we know prayer changed things. Prayer changed thing. It changed our. It changed us for one thing, because we uh we 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 have to depend on God, and so when we pray, we know that we are praying to someone who will answer our prayer and who we can depend on, and we can depend on God answering prayer because it, that's what he that's what he do. You know, Hallelujah. Thank you, uh, Sister Perea, one hundred percent. How many of us have prayed for things? We have prayed for our children and. Pray for this and pray for that and pray for that that uh, person who's uh, 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 out there on drugs, or out there on alcohol, or 
or whatever. And we seen it come to have seen it come to pass how they got delivered. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I know uh, Elder uh, Corn is a prayer warrior too. She have a certain time of day that she praying and she locked the door. Nobody disturbed her, I think. And so we, we all have, you know, we all pray. But, but this is just a reminder to not to give up because it looks like sometimes the more we pray, sometimes the enemy, he'll come against us and, 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 you know, try to make things difficult. But we, we don't lose heart. We don't give up because we know what God can do. I know everybody on here this morning it, it pray, but I'm talking, there, there may be one that see this, um, it, it, you know, that do not pray, that see this, um, program this in, in that do not know how to pray and do not know what prayer does but we want to encourage them and we want to remind them that prayer changed things hallelujah again he, he jesus continued to teach his this par, parable to encourage us to his disciples and, and us to not give up hallelujah because if an unjust judge, judge will grant a request how much more will God, your father, grant that request of his children who cried to him day and night? Because see, this unjust judge, this woman, this widow, she kept going to him. And he got tired of her worrying him. And, 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 and he, he just relented. He just gave her gave her what, what she you know wanted. And so that encouraged us to know that if an unjust judge, uh, judge can uh, grant this petition for this woman, what more will God do for us? Hallelujah. Hallelujah, we should never give up. God requires us to be persistent, not because he's reluctant and he don't want, you know, to answer our prayer, but he wants us to demonstrate that we are serious about our requests. Hallelujah. God, sometimes he would not give you what, what you ask for. What God gives you is always better than what you requested. Like I said last week, uh, Hannah prayed for her son, but God gave her a prophet. Good morning, uh, prophet uh, Renita. Good morning. Thank you for joining me. So God, uh, Hannah in the Bible, she prayed for her son, you know, because she was barren and, and she wanted a son so bad that she, she prayed and God granted, but he gave, he was a prophet. The son was turned out to be a prophet as he grew up. And so God, he may, we may be praying for one thing. He give us more. Hallelujah. But we have to trust him. Hallelujah. And given time, no matter how long it takes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And, and again, sometimes he, he he reinforces his teaching with the illustration. If an evil father will, will meet the request of his child, how much more Jesus said, will your father in heaven give the Holy Spirit to you? Hallelujah. We know if I, we ask our parents, our father, hallelujah, like us, yeah, he knows what we need even before we ask him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So good morning. Good morning. Thank you, uh, uh, Prophet Renita. And so uh, we, uh, I was getting ready to say, we know if our parents, our father, whatever, if they, it was in their, if they could do it, whatever we asked them for, they would do it. I remember when I was a little girl, my, uh, my, I wanted this bike. At that time, they had these, uh, I guess they still have them. They were called Shrin, Shrin bikes. And I remember it was a big blue, you know, it seemed big then because I was small, but it was blue. And I'll never forget it. And I had cried about it. I told him, I want that bike for Christmas. And do you know, he got that bike. He surprised me. And that Christmas morning, I didn't see I didn't see the bike, you know, but he rolled it out of that kitchen. He had a head back there somewhere back behind. And, uh, but I was saying that to say, our Father God, he would give us what, if it's, you know, anything that that's good for us, he's not going to give us nothing to hurt us, you know. And and then started with that bike again. Uh, my father gave me that bike, and he said, now, I'm going to teach you how to how to ride it. Thank you, my chef, for joining me. And he said, I'm going to teach you how to ride it. And he, I got on that bike, and uh, he, this wasn't the first day, the first time he hold it, you know. He hold it up while I'm driving it up, you know. And then, hey, Leon, thank you for joining me. And so then, finally, after a few days, he 
push that bike, and, and I had to hold it up. I mean, I did, I, I, and this is the way God do us. We may get out there, and, and, and we get in a place where we have to trust him. I had to trust, my, well, I trust, I held on to that bike, so from then on, I knew how to ride a bike. But, and so this is way with God, when we, he, we may get out there and, and get to a point where we got to trust him. Hallelujah. But we should never give up. We never give up. Hallelujah. Prayer should be a vital part of our daily life. In prayer, we come to God either to praise him, to thank him, or to worship him, to seek his help. Whatever situation we may be going through, whatever we need, we seek God. Hallelujah. It's because sometimes we're so used to doing things uh, just by our own uh, will or whatever, doing it like we want to do it and, and not seeking him first. That's how we bump heads, get into trouble when we don't seek him. Hallelujah. Even for the young people, people who uh, are seeking a spouse or whatever, we would need to need to ask God, you know, know that. You know, bring it before the Lord. Hallelujah. Any kind of decision that we we have to make, we shall bring it before him. Hallelujah. And so to see what he says. Hallelujah. So again, what, what steps are we going to, to, to take to make prayer a vital part of our daily life? And so uh, the, in the Bible says, in Luke 11, 9 through 10, it says, So I say to you, ask, and it will be given to you. Seek, and you will find it. Knock, and the door will be open to you. For everyone who asks receives. He who seeks finds. And to him who knocks, the door will be open. Hallelujah. We thank God, hallelujah, that he opened doors that no man can, can, can uh, open. And he closed those that no man could close. Hallelujah. So we just ask God, hallelujah, to, to, to help us, hallelujah, in our daily endeavors, not to get too busy, hallelujah, when we don't have time to share and meet in that secret place. I remember, uh, uh, I love the uh, Psalm 91, he that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide, shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. When we stay in that secret place, he covers us like an umbrella. Hallelujah. He overshadowed us. Hallelujah. And so we thank and we praise God. And so again, the description of Philippians said, be careful for nothing, but everything by supplication and prayer with thanksgiving, let your requests be known unto God. Hallelujah. So cause this is a divine cure for all fear, anxiety, and undue concern. Hallelujah. Good morning, Sister Dorothy, Sister uh, Zoni. How you doing? Thank you. And so, yes, yeah, so we, we um, faith, and, uh, and again, faith grows by reading and meditating on the word of the, on the, upon the word of the Lord, on, upon the word of God. And, and, and uh, faith, our faith rise when we pray in an atmosphere of prayer. Hallelujah. So we thank God today. I thank God for each one that has joined me. Hallelujah. And again, I'll be talking more and more about prayer. The Lord has put it on my heart to talk about prayer. Hallelujah. Because we living in a time where there's always was a need to pray. But nowadays, it's, it's even worse. All these different viruses and all this and all that that's going on. We need to pray. Pray, stay before the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Cover our families, our children. Hallelujah. Just our friends, but everybody, just cover them. Our pastor. Hallelujah. We, we just cover, cover with the blood of Jesus. We thank God that he has given us the tool to, to come before him, and that is to pray. Hallelujah. So again, be careful for nothing, Don't worry, but, but everything. Pray. Hallelujah. With thanksgiving, well, then we, we thank God, and then we let our requests be known. Pray for others. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And we thank God. We give him praise this morning. Thank you, Sister Tina, for joining me. We give him praise because God is a deliverer for all those that seek him. Hallelujah. We thank God for each and every one of you. Thank you, Dorothy. We thank I know you know. 
to what God can do. Hallelujah. The healing virtue of Jesus. Hallelujah. That it will continue to flow through your body in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. We give God praise today. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. We can start our day off with prayer, Sister Deborah say. Hallelujah. Start it off with prayer. And all through the day, whenever it comes to you, just pray. Hallelujah. He may put someone on your heart. Hallelujah. And that person may be going through something. You don't know what it is, but when he put, put that person on your heart, just pray for him. Just pray for him. That's what God, that's what we do. That's what we are to do, to cover each other, cover others, pray for each other. Someone may be going through a divorce or going through sickness, whatever. Hallelujah. But we pray for them. Hallelujah. And we give God glory. Hallelujah. And we thank God. Hallelujah. I thank God for each one that has, was on this line today. And I give him God praise for you. I thank God. Hallelujah. I pray that he would touch each one, touch each heart, each person. Hallelujah. That has heard this word. Hallelujah. And we thank God. We give him praise on today. God has brought me a long way. He's allowed me to be an author. Um, I, I, I didn't write a whole book. Just wrote a chapter in each one of these books. And the first one was called Moving On by His Grace. And that was a testimony of women. It was uh, six, of, six of us women who have a testimony where we have come through life trials, you know, with resilience, resilience, I talk about how God delivered me from uh, the spirit of fear, from alcoholism and all of that. And that that's in this book, Moving On by His Grace. So after you got delivered, you move on. And then the next one, we take the limits out. We took, take the limit. We had been shut up in the house with COVID. I mean, you couldn't go any place. Everything was shut down and stuff. And and so, uh, but we after this, we, we took the limits off. We took the limits off. The deadly COVID-19 virus ravaged the world and thrust us to, into a world, you know, just this uh, panic and everything. But I remember we, and again, we prayed for that. We had a group, we was praying that the Lord would cause someone to come up with a, 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 a remedy for that virus. <coughs> Hallelujah. And then they did come up with the, um, with the immunization for that, for that virus. And so that was, we, I know I was praying and others was praying and we had a group praying for that. And, 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 and God, uh, you know, allowed people to be able to get the vaccine and stuff. So that was a, a prayer, uh, answer to prayer. And then the last, uh, the latest one that I, I uh, shared in, wrote a chapter in, it was called Grief Through the Eyes of Faith. And it, and we, uh, we women, it was, uh, four of us. One lady lost, uh, three of her children. I lost one son. Uh, another lady lost her daughter and one her husband. But we talk about how God brought us through that. Hallelujah. Which he's still bringing us. You know, we, uh, I, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm going to say I'm all the way out of the woods, but I know that he's not coming back and I know he, He's in a, a better place because he knew the Lord. And so I, I, God assured me of that. And so I, I have come, come to a place of acceptance where I accept that he's gone. I never forget him. Uh, but God has, you know, brought me to that place through prayer. Prayer changed things. I remember I leaned on the, the 23rd Psalm. Yea, though I walk through the valley, that's verse four. You know, you know how I start off. The Lord is my shepherd; I shall not want. But verse four, that thing stuck with me. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for I know Thou art with me. I knew God was with me as I was walking through it. But but you you know, and you and you and you don't feel like doubt come in, whatever. You don't know how you're gonna get through that. But and so I talk about that. And the other ladies talk talk about what they went through in their uh, they, uh, grief. Uh, hallelujah. So we thank God that God answers prayer. Hallelujah. Prayer changed things. And I thank you, each one of you, for joining me this morning. And if one that hear this word that is not saved, I ask you to bow your head and ask the Lord Jesus to come into your heart. 
Say, Lord Jesus, come into my heart. I heard your word and I heard that prayer changed things. I'm, I'm going through this. I'm going through that. So I ask you to come into my heart and save me. And I know you'll do it. I believe you'll do it. And if you if you prayed that prayer, believe, know that you're saved. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Thank you again. Thank God for each one of you all. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. God, I pray that you would grant and uh, meet their every need, anything that they have before you. I know, uh, Sister uh, Marie, uh, you you have been in the hospital, and I've been praying for you that the Lord would, would heal you. And I, I believe, I know that you're doing better in Jesus' name. Hallelujah, Sister Perel. I thank God for you, Sister Phil, uh, everybody. I thank God. God bless you, Sister Mary Ella. God bless you. God bless you, Sister Renita. God, uh, Sister Dorothy, I thank God for you. I thank you got a testimony. I thank God for what he did for you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When the enemy think he got you down, but God raised you up because the folks was praying for you, praying daily, day and night, praying for you. Hallelujah. And you are back on your feet. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name. Thank you, Bishop Lewis. I thank God for you. You are a blessing to me too. Thank you. Hallelujah. Thank you. Amen. I'll see y'all next week. Bye-bye.